Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us a water you should keep by your bedside and equally easy to take your bath if things are difficult for you and watch money flow like never before. People that are supposed to give to you, people that have promised you, they are going to give you. And people that are owing you, they will pay you once you start doing this. If you're a business person, once you do this and go to your shop, you will see how customers will be trooping from every corners of the world. If you're doing online business, people will start patronizing you. This assignment is very, very powerful for everybody. If you have a school and your school is not doing, we don't have population, please use this to increase the population of your school. Even if you're a pastor, I want people to be coming to your church. Use this method and see how people, your, audience, your congregation will increase and people that will give testimony in your church will be many. So watch this as I teach us what to do with natural things that we abuse, that we eat without knowing that it can be used to attract abundance to our life. So the first ingredients you are going to be needing is our garlic. Yes, we all know that garlic is very powerful to remove anything negative energies and attract goodness to our life. Then the next thing I'm going to be we are going to be needing is rice. Rice is very very powerful for abundance, for love, for attraction. Anything good, rice is there for you. Then the next thing you are going to be needing is our sea salt. Yes, the ones like stone. The sea salt like stone, that is what you need. So uh, look at it, the quartz one. So that is what you'll be needing for this assignment. Then the last one is our water. You have to put a water in a container. So how do you use this? So to perform this assignment, this is my garlic. I'm going to peel it. We just need only three pieces of garlic or three cloves of garlic. Yes. What I mean by three cloves of garlic is just three pieces of garlic. Because the other video I made, I said three cloves of garlic. People are like, you said garlic, you said cloves. Okay, so what I mean by three cloves of garlic is just three pieces. I'm using a layman's language now so that everybody will understand. So I've peeled the first one. This is the first one. So I'm going to peel the second one. So you just remember I said you need just three. Three garlic for this recipe. Garlic is very, very powerful. Any spell you, you, uh, you use garlic to do is always very powerful. So I've succeeded. This is the last one I'm peeling now. So I'm done peeling my garlic. See the three of them? Yes, you can see on my video. So I'm going to set it aside. This is my rice I'm going to use. Then now, I will come to my salt. I'll be needing three stones of salt. This is the first stone. This is the second stone, and this is the third one. For those that will tell me they don't have this kind of salt, please know that this recipe is not for you. You need three salts, three stones of salt. So when you're buying sea salt, buy the ones like this, the one with stone. Okay? Yes, if you're in Nigeria and you cannot get it, you can order from me. I have it. So look at it. This is the three of them. This is my three garlic, and this is my rice. So the measurement of rice is supposed to be one handful of rice, which is what I have here. Okay. So now I'm going to get my bottle water. So this is my bottle water. I've gotten my bottle water. I'm going to be adding the garlic. That's the first thing. This is one, two, and three. Then I'm going to be adding my handful of rice in the bottle water. You can see on my video. So I've added the whole rice in it. Now I am going to go ahead to add my salt. So this is my three stones of salt. You can see it. So I'm adding the first one, the second one, and the third one. So after this, I am going to fill up this container. So yeah, as when you are doing your own, after putting the whole ingredients, you fill up the, the container and shake it. As you're shaking it, begin to pray. Tell God that whatever it is that is making you to experience setback, stagnation, poverty, that God should eliminate it, that God should destroy it, that as from today you want to experience abundance in your life. 
in your business, you want to experience abundance. You want customers to flow from every corner of the world. In your online business, you want people to ask you how much you sell and they buy. Not just people that will window shop in your online shop and go away. You can see how the color is. Yes. Then, if you're using it for your office, maybe there's a lot of negative energies there. Tell God that as you're shaking this, any man, any woman with evil intentions towards me, it's not going to work. That the only people that is permitted to see me in that office, you call the name of your office, are people with good intentions, are people that are ready to help me get promoted, help me get an uh, increment of my salary, and so on and so forth. Just say the things you want. Say, as you go out to your shop, customers will flow from every corner of the world. You will never experience lack. You will never experience no, no market. There are some people when you ask them, ah, I hope their business is fine. Say, ha, I've not sold for one week. That will not be your portion as long as you're on this channel. Yes, that will never be your portion. Every day you open your shop, people must patronize you. I'm not just saying person. People must patronize you. If others are crying, there is no money in the economy. It's none of your business because God of abundance is there to release abundance to you, to bless you with finances, to bless you with money, to bless you in every areas of your life. All you need to do is to believe and keep trusting God because I've never seen somebody that said God have failed him or her. So if God have failed you, my God have never failed me. And I know he's not going to fail any member of my channel. He's not going to fail anybody that keep doing my recipes. Your life will never remain the same. Watch your life the way it was when you came to this channel. Unless you don't practice my recipes, there is no how you practice my recipes and your story will still remain the same. Never. It's not possible. So after shaking it, you are going to keep this by your best side. Okay? So you are going to keep this for 24 hours. Okay, let me assume you did it in the morning. So you are going to start using it the next morning. Let me assume you did it in the night. You are going to be using it the next night or the next morning. It will still work. So how do you use it? In the morning, just take out the water. You shake it first. Allow it to settle again. You sieve out the water inside your bucket of water you want to use and bath. Then you refill it again. As you're bathing, still pray for abundance. Still pray for favor. Still pray for open doors. Remember, please note, as you're using this, the garlic may germinate. Don't be scared. It's still effective. That is even when it's more effective. Okay? That means there is increment. There is new beginning in your life. So we are going to be doing this for seven days. You can do it morning and night. Or morning, only morning or only evening. You can use your soap to bath. You can use your sponge. As you do this, what is important is just for you to pray. Ask God for abundance. Ask God for his favor. Ask God for his mercy. And he's going to be, he's going to answer you and do exactly what you wish. So try this simple assignment and make sure you share your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. Before I end, if you have a physical shop, Please, you can equally make two and keep one in your shop. Whenever you come to your shop, add more to your mobile water and use it to mob your shop. Or you can sprinkle it around your shop. And show me, just, I need that testimony. Within seven days, let the testimony flow. Okay, this is tested and trusted. Thank you once again. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.